Well, hello. By the time you see this, all this, these remnants from Hurricane, well, Tropical Storm Debbie will be gone. You ever find yourself, your life flooded by the tempest of alcohol and drug dependency? Would you like that to be all gone? I know I would. Just look at the wreck your life has become. Good morning, my people. It's August 11th. It's a Sunday. Once again, it's a Sunday. There it is. The dopamine. I resisted. I resisted the urge, man. Gotta, gotta wean off. I don't know. I don't want to become diabetic. Too much sugar. I get a lot of sugar in my diet, so I do have to uh, watch it. Topic for today. How about anger? Are you a raging Ricky or Rhonda? Are you an angry Angie or Andy? Are you a goofy Gary or Glenda? Are you a withdrawn William or Wanda? Alcohol and its depressive uh, action can cause all, basically four of these uh, and probably more emotions and reactions uh, when you, you ingest ethanol. And you never know with me where, in my case, you know, where this may lead. You could, you could wake up in a jail cell somewhere. Uh, you could wake up with guns pointed at you and the cops. You could wake up naked. In, you could wake up... You may not wake up. <laughs> Depending on maybe if you're cross addicted and you're maybe taking depressants or, or something like benzos. I mean, it's just to, so unpredictable. It's not something that you want. So, first of all, you have like the, the angry person. The, the Angie or the Andy. They get mad. They they just pop off at that at the slightest little thing after having drinks. They may argue with their wife. They may argue with their son or daughter. They may argue with their grandparents. They may argue. They just want to argue. They get mad. For me, I I'll tell you, uh, I I fell within. At first, I was more of the goofy Gary. I was fun to be around, funny, or so I thought. And once that little glow started happening, I uh, just, life of the party, even though I was, you know, and I am kind of an introvert, ready to have a good time, ready to just throw down and, and just have a really great time doing things. That gave way later on to the more of the raging Ricky, you know, I, I've gotten in arguments with my father. i gotten in actually physical altercations with him. He blackened my eye once. I hit him in the stomach really hard one time and, and left a bruise. I mean, it was just, it was just bad. I wasn't uh, staying here at the time. It, it, it just, and then you wake up the next morning and you're, you're just racked with remorse and just feeling so horrible. And you, you really don't know. And they'll say, do you know what, what kind of language you were using last night? And you have no idea. Or at least I didn't. I, I said, no, what was I saying? And you repeated it. I didn't even want to hear these words come out of my dad's mouth. I'm like, God knows. He knows these words. And it was just shocking and to know that I had said that. And one time he had taken... Uh, I guess he had, I had gotten drunk and was visiting and was on the floor just yapping at him. That, 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 that bitch, he got, he got mad, so he got this idea, I'm going to use my, uh, he took a video of me with his computer. He just turned it, I guess, so he couldn't, he turned it around, I was so drunk I didn't know what he was doing. So he t turned it around and, and videoed me and I'm like this. Just, just mumbling, muttering. Nothing was really coming out, and nothing was making sense. The next day, he had something to show me. You know, hey Ricky, 
come take a look at this. And I'm like, I don't remember any of that. And I, I, I couldn't stand up very well, so I was scooting like a, like a, like a dog. You know how they, they have to scrape their ass like when their glands are itching. That's what it was like. There he goes around on the floor. And then I, I think I might have had to go to the bathroom or something and scoot it around like that. I mean, it was just horrible. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. It, it, it went from the, you know, the goofy Gary day years uh, of having a good time to that raging Ricky shit. And then, you know, between the, uh, the angry Andy. Who are you? That's what I'd like to know. I started thinking about baseball for some reason. This is, <laughs> I digress, totally off topic. Um, I guess because, you know, the season's kind of winding down. I've gotten back into watching a little bit of baseball on TV and started thinking about Morris Buttermaker from the, uh, from the 1976 film, uh, The Bad News Bears. And I'll show a little clip of that. Um, where he starts hollering at, at Amanda, and he's definitely, uh, you know, <laughs> Mayhem Morris. Amanda, you know damn well that your mother and I don't get along, so we're not going to dinner or a movie or anywhere else together. Do you understand? Just keep your elbow in the water. Well, then just you and I will go. Yeah, right. You and I will take the whole team out and get some hamburgers or some pizza or something. Well, I was just thinking us. Just us, no outsiders. Well, then maybe we could go horseback riding or something, and maybe to a bad day. Yeah, we'll see. How does it feel? Why do you always change the subject? You're always pulling that as number on me. Just quit it. The subject is your arm. You're pitching tomorrow. But what about after tomorrow? After tomorrow, we do what all ball players do. We shake hands till we see each other next season. Then we go fishing or hunting, make some personal appearances, get to know the wife and kids again. I don't have a wife and kids. You could use the help. No, I couldn't. And besides, you shouldn't be wasting your time cleaning pools. Look, Amanda, you're a terrific kid. You shouldn't be hanging around with me. I mean, I'm an old, broken-down, third-rate ball player. I like to drink too much. I like to smoke my cigars without anybody bothering me, including you. I'm happy that way. I'm a bum. No, you're not. You taught me how to pitch. You taught me how to... God damn it! Can't you get it through your thick head that I don't want your company? At that at that point, you know, because he's drinking that Schlitz. Now, that's quality stuff, isn't it? Absolutely. That, that's, that might as well be the king of beers. They used to sell that stuff down in Wilmington. 216 for a six-pack. Oh, times have changed. But yeah, I, I started, you know, watching Bad News Bears and like how... I didn't realize... Really, when I saw that movie, why does he have a beer in his hand all the time? You know, and then when he's on the mound, when he passes out, all, all his beer cans on, and like uh, Engelberg and uh, Tanner, you know, walk up. Tanner's like, he's drunk. You know, like somebody asks, is he dead? He's laying there and he had passed out. But, you know, he gets into it with Amanda, wants him to, uh, he's kind of like a surrogate father to her. You know, she's trying to set up a, a you know, a, a date between her mother and Buttermaker. And Buttermaker doesn't want to have anything to do with it. He just wants to be left alone. And the way he reacts is is the way uh, an, alcohol, an intoxicated alcoholic would react if they got upset. Just, just mad, yelling at a 12-year-old kid. You know, I don't, you know, I don't need you. Just leave me alone. I want to smoke my cigars and drink without anybody bothering me you know and that leads to the isolation uh, it, he he's definitely he's got these kids he can't really you know he's not much of a manager you do see the change though he doesn't really sober up you know it's not about alcohol really he's just a drunken broken down third-rate ball player like he talks about that happens to get roped into coaching these kids uh, he gets paid for it, but he learns a little bit about himself at the end, you know, that, that winning isn't everything. You know, that, that having fun is really the name of the game. You don't know much about him. You know, he obviously played semi-pro or something like that. And he's all washed up and he's cleaning pools for a living. Oh, I can't imagine. I mean, I might not be. I know a guy that does that. But that movie does have a good message about that. Just having fun. I just thought about that, but. You know, he does fit one of those profiles, you know, sort of the, the 
and that that burst of anger and people have been killed you know with people under the influence and blackouts that have drank themselves silly where they couldn't remember anything and then they wake up there's blood all over them and there's a body laying there i mean it's nothing new this is this is as long as people have been ingesting uh alcohol you know since since got thousands and thousands of years it just doesn't lead to any good outcome if you're an alcoholic and you you binge or you have sustained periods of drinking where you're just out of control and you know it leads to dwis divorces death alienation from your friends and family all the bad stuff and since I have gotten sober, you know, in, in my other video where I'm in that damp couch out there out in the great outdoors uh, vlogging, I'm amazed at how fast things have come back. It's really been um, awesome. Uh, things have gotten way, way better. Just, you know, I'm not so much of a hobo. I'm hoboing out and sliding more back into uh, you know, becoming a human being, a more productive member of society. But let me know down in the comments how, what, how you were when you were, uh, you know, one of these four types. I mean, there's many more. You might add, you know, something that I missed of, of how you reacted when you were under the influence. Were you more angry? Did you rage or were you goofy or did you have a lot of fun or... And also uh, watch some more of my uh, content you guys have a really good Sunday. I'm going to go hang out. Yeah, we finally got over this uh, little hurricane slash tropical storm that came through here. It dumped a lot of water. Fortunately, our draining around here is pretty good. So as you could see at the beginning of the video, uh, all the water that was out there. But we're fortunate. Uh, you know, my heart goes out to all the you know, people that may have lost their, their homes or, or got flooded out. Uh, this could have been a lot worse than it was. But as always, stay tuned, come back, and I'll see you later.